Graham requests me on Patreon to review the Netflix teen movie Tall Girl. Centered on a teenage girl who is bullied for her height, I remember the concept got a bit of mockery when the film premiered a few years ago. However, I don't let that sort of thing affect my opinion, and in the end I thought Tall Girl was completely average. This is very middle-of-the-road teenage fluff, although certainly not without some major flaws, which I'll get into. When the movie started, I actually did not mind it too much. There were some funny lines here and there, and the director even did a few creative shots. The opening scene in the library has two characters having a conversation, and the books behind them are color-coordinated. I like the way the parents are portrayed, as it shows them trying hard and utterly failing to understand their daughter's predicament. In another film, I might have had the parents give a supportive pep talk early on that lifts her spirits. Instead, they're portrayed as flawed but still well-meaning individuals, and both Angela Kinsey and Steve Zahn performed well in the roles. The standout of the movie is Sabrina Carpenter as the older sister. She's given the funniest lines in the film, and she gets in some great facial expressions, too. You might have noticed at this point that I have barely talked about lead character Jody, and there's a reason for that. Part of what dragged Tall Girl down for me was how dull and uninteresting Jody was. Ava Michelle does what she can with the role, but the character is flatly written and not given a whole lot of personality. It also feels like the film exaggerates the height. I won't deny that it probably is bullying that occurs against tall people, and I even searched online and found a few Reddit threads on the subject, with some saying they were bullied for their height, and others saying it was for other things. However, in the movie, Jodie does not come across that much taller than her classmates. There's even a scene where she's talking to one of her friends who is on a bicycle, and there doesn't seem to be that much of a difference. I even looked up the actor's heights, and she's only slightly taller than him. And I should probably talk about Griffin Gluck's character, a boy who has a crush on her. I thought he had very few redeeming qualities, and I wondered why we were supposed to root for these two to get together. Then you have the girl who keeps bullying Jody, right down to prank calling her house. She is strangely obsessed, which I get bullies usually are, but she has this odd vendetta against this girl who has done absolutely nothing to her prior to the events of the movie. There's having someone living rent-free in your head, and then there's letting them have squatter's rights. As the film played on, I also thought Jody took on some rather unlikable traits. There's the usual third act falling out with the best friend trope, and Jody's reason for this is monumentally stupid. It doesn't even affect the plot all that much, as the two don't interact after that scene. As the movie played on, it employed more and more of the conventional teen movie scenarios, but with none of the charm and likability that allows other films of this ilk to slightly get away with them. There is a way to tackle this theme in the movie, but Tall Girl mainly seemed interested in the usual lovey-dovey high school drama. I did not care about Jody's relationship with a Swedish exchange student, and I certainly didn't care if she wound up with her friend by the end of the movie, and that makes it difficult to get invested in the story. Plus, do you really expect me to believe Jody and the foreign exchange student are the only tall students in this school? That feels very improbable. I don't have a whole lot more to say about Tall Girl, to be honest. Aside from Sabrina Carpenter's charming performance, the film did not bring a whole lot to the table and joined the other dime a dozen teen movies streaming on Netflix. However, it clearly did well enough with the target audience as they are now working on a sequel, so the film seemed to have resonated with enough people. If you have watched Tall Girl, let me know what you thought in the comments, and thank you for your request, Graham.